That was the longest, hottest drive. It was so hot, in fact, my cell phone turned off. All right, what's up from uh, Phoenix? I'm here with the electric bicycle guys. Um, you may have already seen some of their videos. We're gonna go inside. I'm gonna take a little test drive because, well, a lot of you guys said I need some kind of transportation, a car, a motorcycle, but you know, all those things are just a little bit too big for me. So I think I have the solution. You started with skateboards. Is that why you have skateboards here? Yeah. So I started with electric skateboards. Uh, wanted to put motors on just about anything with wheels and make it go fast. So started with those and uh, you know sold several thousand over the course of the years. Um, have some other cool, fun things going with those. We're trying to do a five foot long board uh, <laughs> with four motors, 35 miles per hour. Most Whoa. amount of people you can do is five people on it at once. So, oh my God, 35 yeah. miles per hour? Yeah, so this one's, yeah. I don't know She's if I have special. the balls for that, but that sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> Put me in a simo suit and a helmet. Right. Right. But then we graduated onto bikes. Uh, you know, a lot of people, including our own parents, really pressured us. Go figure out electric bikes. They're way too expensive. So they applied the pressure and uh, we got to it and developed, you know, one bike a little over a year ago. I've been selling that one and then got feedback and really just dived deep into how can we make it smaller? How can we make it faster? How can we make it more practical for every type of use it could be? So, yeah, and that's how we came out with the electric XP. Uh, you have a throttle here as well, um, so you can do that. Whoa. And yeah, so that's really wicked. Uh, it also works by pedal assist, so you have a sensor down there that tracks uh, when you're working, so it won't work unless you're working with it. So uh, that's more of a collaborative type of riding experience. So um, we're working with a 48 volt, 10.4 amp hour battery on this bike, um, made by LG, so super reliable cells. It's gonna last you for uh, many years. Um, it's removable from the bike, so um, here I can just show you really quick. So you, when you unfold, this is the battery right here. It locks to the frame under here. There's a key that's uh, unique to each battery on each bike. So you can just slide this out of the frame so you can charge it on or off the bike there. Um, it takes about four to six hours to charge that battery from a standard wall outlet. And then with that battery, um, we're able to go up to 28 miles an hour on this bike um, and that's pedal assist only so that's what we would call a class 3 electric bike so depending on what state you're living in um, there's different regulations surrounding where you can ride electric bikes how fast you can go everything like that so in California um, Colorado a bunch of other states you can go up to 28 pedal assist um, the bikes ship going 20 miles an hour um, limited on both the throttle and pedal assist mode um, which makes them legal most places in the United States right now they're still classified as a bike you don't need any license or insurance or anything to be riding it just on the street for range uh, you know if you charge it up you can go uh, no pedaling just throttle you know, let's say you're just over pedaling you don't want to do it mm -hmm. Sit down, throttle all the way. You're gonna go 25 miles, Whoa. just flat. You're just, nothing's happening and you're, you never let off that. Uh, and then if you do pedal assist where you're working with it and you know, pedal assist is I think more fun, uh, more rewarding because you're still putting out some effort, but you just feel like you're the fastest biker in the world. Um, you are gonna- So that's extend... like Lance Armstrong mode. Oh, right. Yeah, hardcore, yeah. And so if you're in Lance mode, uh, you're gonna go closer to like 45, 50 miles on a single charge. Whoa, of yeah, yeah, course, yeah. that depends on the wind, your weight, you know, yep. uh, tire pressure, yep, other yep, factors, yep. right? Of yes, course. Sir. Yep. I'm not a bike pro, but I, those seem like pretty mm -hmm. straightforward, you know, things. Yep, right. Yep. Okay. Yep, definitely. So are we on high? All right, so you ready for that? All right, All right so we're, we're on max speed. This is the first time I'm trying this thing. I have a little experience in uh, quads and dirt bikes and all that stuff. So I'm gonna hand the camera over. Cause uh, yeah, just leave it rolling. All righty. All right, you're gonna pedal it just like a normal bike and you're gonna fly. Okay. Whoa. That's the last we saw of him. <laughs> He's just gonna take our bike. 
So I'm on pedal assist and it just, it like pedal, it like speeds up for me. It's crazy. And then you let off on the pedals and then it stops accelerating. Right. Yeah. Can no. we go over to full so like power can, mode? You can yeah, do, yeah. Thro so the throttle's right here, it's half twist throttle. So okay. whenever, you, if you want to not pedal at all, if you stop pedaling and just do throttle. So, okay, so there's no setting going. that we cross over, I just hit the, yep, you the thing. You just use the throttle, throttle when you want. Okay. okay, there we go. Yeah. Just had to show no bicycle, <laughs> no no pedaling whatsoever. So yeah, this thing's awesome. I'm sold. I want one. <laughs> Good in. This Mojo bus. Hello. We got all kinds of characters today. Oh yeah. And the other half of Mojo bus. Hola. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Man, Good. this is looking awesome. <laughs> I got that up. The lights are wigging out, so I'm gonna have to get another string of them. Oh yeah, look at that. Just those three. Yeah, but I got all this up. They're right just different here. colors. That one's blue. That one's yeah. So, anyways, uh, did you see yeah, the cushions you got before? These on... no, no, I saw the material before. Okay, but now I don't put together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was gonna harass Eric because I screwed up and didn't make them level, and I it air, air nailed them in, and it, that side wasn't like perfect. Not to be too anal, it's but it's a homemade bus. I know. And it's That's pretty not too good. Good. a little cleaner. Oh, well, go see right? that side and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's like way off. From what? This and that okay. side. Oh. Okay. I screwed up when I installed it, so anyways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Just a little adjustment. Thanks. <laughs> so just so you guys know, do you see that air conditioning exhaust fan in Mojo Bus? They are braving the Arizona summer in their bus. That's insane. But they're also escaping the heat inside the, their house they're sitting, kind of. But they sleep in there, which I gotta give them credit. That's not easy to do. So for all you guys that said, uh, get some merch, get some stickers, whatever, uh, big announcement. I will in the future, very soon, have merch and stickers and whatever, thanks to Mojo Bus. So he has been busy at work and we are going to see, can we see my logo and what you did? He, <clears throat> by the way, he started up on Instagram, schoolie underscore logos, and he's got these cool buttons and all these sorts of things. And he's trying to have that be his like niche, like RV, van life, uh, bus life and all that stuff. So. Why not mix two things I love? <laughs> <laughs> so I personally requested a red bus with a YouTube play button because I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, possibly a copyright, uh, who knows, I don't really care. Anyways, that one's kind of fun too because it looks like the windows, like my logo, I think, yeah, I don't know, I like them both. So anyways, um, can we run through some other ones that you did? Absolutely. All right. I'm just gonna pop open Whoa. the illustrator here. So, on Schoolie Logos, not only do I do logos, but I will draw your bus. That's awesome. And not only will I draw your bus, but I will make it look like you want it to. And this <laughs> is one um, that I did. This is what the bus looks like currently. And they're gonna have it, this maroon color with the white top and everything when it's all finished. So they really gotta commit to that after, so, they, after the game, right? <laughs> that, that they do. They, they picked out the color, they sent me the color and everything, so. Yeah. Um, so that's where we're at. Let me get on this side just because the auto white balancing is going crazy. Absolutely. What, so, um, and also you've been keeping busy doing Facebook marketing and website Facebook SEO marketing, and, websites, SEO, yeah. all that fun stuff. I come from a background of this. I've been doing it for over 10 years. Um, and I'm just kind of switching my niche because I love the bus life, van life so much yeah. that I want to be more immersed in it Awesome. Uh, by switching and, my work to it as well. And also, uh, for the people who saw a previous video and then contacted him for work, thank you guys in advance. It is like one big fa happy family here, so we all encourage and support each other. So I'm happy that Mojo, Mojo Bus got some business from that. So Me too. <laughs> what, um, what, oh, let's see your site, by the way, also, because tell me if, and I'd like to do something similar where I have merch. I want to see your merch. Oh, yes, this is a um, in progress uh, that. site right now. We don't have it fully up and running. But I will be doing this one because I'll be buying that one. <laughs> you know me and my hats. <laughs> so, yep, schoolie. I'm definitely gonna get that one at some point. So, but yeah, that's yeah. awesome. 
So I will post that on Instagram when that is all up and running so you guys can run and grab Sweet. whatever you like. Awesome. So uh, I'm just going to run through some other stuff here. All right. Um, I've done a few of these bus drawings. Uh, Whoa, that's cool. That bus looks familiar. One I, I feel like I've seen that one before. This one is, uh, is here in Phoenix. They just finished it and they're about to take off in a week, I think next week, uh -huh. on their first adventure. Awesome. Um, you guys might recognize this one here. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what, what is that called? Is that like a, a CAD drawing or something? This is a, it's, a, it's a vector drawing. Oh, okay. Vector it's done drawing. in Adobe Illustrator. Yep. Um, and I take a look at your bus and I draw it. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. So anyways, um, if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations or actually if you have any requests for merch, let me know. I'm not really, haven't been a big merch person. Should I put it on Patreon? Should I put it on my website? Should I just give it away? I don't really know. I guess we'll find out. Most important question, are we going to go to Chino Bandito? Absolutely. <laughs> Alright, if you know, you know. If you don't, well, we're going to Flavortown right now. All right, so in Flavortown today, we have some sort of uh, fried pork, jerk chicken, jerk chicken fried rice, black beans. It's a weird Mexican Chinese Phoenix fusion thing. It's delicious. We should make it jerk fried rice. <laughs> Did we get the same thing? Um, no, mine's chicken, but pretty much. And this is the, I got the chicken and the quesadilla. I just want to say thank you to everybody who helped me, who was so helpful in Arizona. Cassie, Nandra. DJ, Young David, Glenn, everybody else out there was incredible. Um, the videos are going to get back to traveling here shortly. Uh, so I uh, apologize for um, not having travel videos, but it's just easier for my brain to just focus on this and pick up where I left off on the travels. Um, so anyways, and those of you who have been enjoying uh, the building videos, well, you're an odd duck. <laughs> no, but honestly, uh, thanks for watching. Um, even if you even if you aren't interested in the building uh, part of it, uh, I appreciate you. And uh, you know, we're gonna get back on the road here pretty soon. That's what I'm really excited for. Um, so stay tuned. All right. So after two nights on the Zynus mattress, I can confirm that this is extremely comfortable. Um, you know, not to uh, compare, contrast. Well, yeah, to compare, but not to like, you know, put down the other mattress I got in the last bus. I happen to prefer a stiff mattress. If you like a firm mattress, the Zynus is great. I recommend it. And like I said, if you get it at Walmart, it's only $200. So anyways, uh, I'm at a truck stop. Let's get into that in the next video. I'll tell you why.